Okay, so now we're on to actually playing the game legitimately and not using the cheats. It's a pity I couldn't get the thing to show in the DOS box version because that would show you why the body disappearing bug triggers. But that's one of at least two game breaking bugs. So in this case, you can work around it. If it accidentally is triggered, you can just pick up a serpentine dagger from anywhere and it will count. So when we last left off, we were exploring the mines. So what we should be doing is heating towards that ship we're supposed to have. Okay, left is another mine.
everyone remember where we parked the carpet? You see before you a young girl with a carefree expression. As she notices you, her eye grow wide as she exclaims, Thou art the person in one of her one of my story books. Oh, fanfic writer. All right, we're kind of a legend. Thou art the avatar. My name is Catherine, my lady avatar. I have no job, Milady Avatar, I live with my father and mother here in Vesper. That is the name of our city, Milady Avatar. If thou art lost, thou mayest wish to speak with the town clerk. Yes, Milady Avatar, she is the right now. She points apparently indicating her house. He is the overseer at the mines, Milady Avatar. The matronly woman you see has a look of concern on her face. Good day, my lady. My name is Vela, she curtsies. Might I know thy name? Now, now, milady, thou shouldst not honor like that.
We should probably save because I know saying year he ever here might result in NPCs dying. You see a well-muscled woman who lifts her head in acknowledgement of your presence. The woman grabs your hand and shakes vigorously. Hello, my name Mara. She flexes proudly. I am a miner in Vesper. This used to be a pleasant town. She looks around, apparently checking anyone is near, till the gargoyles became so unruly. Now, most of us have to spend far too much time wondering when the gargoyles will decide they want to kill us. She shrugs. There is not to say except that they are a menace. This town would be a much better place without them. Well, I know Ketter feels as I do, as does his wife. I have heard the mayor express his concern about them. I don't really know his clerk, Diana. I have only seen her a few times. I do not know her well enough to say this, but I think she is angry about something, for she is always in a bad mood. His name is Austin. I like him, but I suspect that Leon is the one who truly keeps Vesper in order.
He's in charge of managing the mines. Does a fair job, too. He usually joins me at the Gilded Lizard. That is the tavern here in Vesper, Yungi the barkeeper. He serves a passing fair tankard of ale. Avila is a lovely woman. She spends her days caring for their daughter, Catherine. You see a broad-shouldered man with a solemn look about him. The man shakes your hand. I'm Cater. I oversee the local branch of the Britannian Mining Company in Vesper. We mine many different minerals. Gold and lead. Wall the most expensive and least expensive. So if I go into the mine, what am I going to find? I work with Mara and a gargoyle named Laplum. Well, for a gargoyle, he is not too lazy. He works much harder than that other one who left, and many of us. But I would fain let him go if we did not need the extra hand.
you can go look at the mine first. Why can't she heal herself? All right, more free food.
all empty. Yep, slave machine running. Just leave the machine running. Nobody will stick their hand in it.
What behind door number two? More black rock. No goal. Any secret wall side time. To be placed to against you, human. Lap, lump, smiles. To be known to you is lap, lamb. To mean rock one. To be a minor. To be now the only minor of my race in this town. To tell you that there was another Ammonivus to have left because of racial hatred.
to sit now in tavern all day with brother for animo to feel bad for amanivas and brother but to need shot he shrugs To put up with hatred. To know of many gargoyles who work in the other mines, but to see the Vesper mine has only humans now. To be called Vesper, to be the only place, other tan parts of Britain, where gargoyles live with humans. To tell you that here are more conflicts, he sighs. To wonder if Turfin would be a better choice to maintain a home. To see the humans grow in hostility to us. Sadly, to also see many gargoyles begin to show mutual feelings. To hope the situation never becomes violent. To be the gargoyle home city. to have been constructed 200 years ago when the Codex was placed in the void and the gargoyles were without places to live. Though not prohibited, no humans reside there. Have a good night, Esther Rider. Have a good night, Strider. So this character just refers to Ultima Sis.
well, I was not terribly eventful. You see a middle-aged man with a furrowed brow, as if he is constantly worried. Please call me Austin. He sighs before responding. I am the mayor of Vesper.
It was a pleasant place in days past. But now, my lady, the turmoil between our people and those gargoyles has caused many problems. I try to stay in touch with as many of the citizens as I can, but I do not know all of them that well. I know Cater has been in charge of the local branch of the Britannian Mining Company ever since it opened. He is married to Evella. I believe they are members of that fellowship organization. Oh dear. Of course, there's Eldris, and a trainer, and also Yongi. And he scowls as he adds the last one, Lorn. Also, thou should speak with Liana. She knows a few of the people that I do not. I am afraid that I do not know everyone as well as I should. I am worried that the gargoyles may get restless and attack us. Florin has not helped things, he points to his chest. I am the one charged with maintaining order here. If there is not any, it will be my responsibility. I have asked Eldreth what to do in case of an uprising, and I am trying to plan accordingly. I am not sure what to think about him. I do not know what he does for a living, but I know the gargoyles hate him more than they do the rest of us. Come, sus.
I am frightened of what will happen, since it is obvious that he holds some futile feelings towards them. You see a short woman with a distracted look on her face. Breaking from her work, the woman turns to look at you long enough to respond. My name is Lyanna. I am the mayor's clerk. I am responsible for keeping track of official records and documents in Vesper. I like the town, I like the town, but it's so far from Britain that it attracts some truly unusual people. Well, there are a couple of strange ones, Marayagi, and there is Blorn. He is a mean one, and well. Of course, Eldroth, and, she says with a shudder, the gargoyles. I get it, and I get it, you all racist against the gargoyles. Still having continuity ship yet. Still have not gotten to our ship yet. Is this it?
Oh, get off it. I always had problems getting the ships to work. No kidding. Of course it's not on the map. Was it keeping something in or was something trying to get out?
At your approach, the old man straightens and looking directly at you, he says, Well met, he say. I am called Rethian. This apparently can be done at any time, might be hard. Although thou dost not know me, I know thee well. I have seen thee destroy Mundane's power and so defeat that misguided mage. I have seen thee vanquish the enchantress Minax. I have also seen in a very unique way how thou brought low the Hellspawn Exodus. He falls silent here, and you notice that the old man's eyes are milky white. The mage gives you a half smile. Twould seem that thy memory is failing thee, Kise. That have said my name is Erethian. I do like how the game is pretty blunt when you ask someone's name after they already told you it. thing has become a passion of mine lately. It almost glows with excitement. Indeed, tis what brought me here. While I was at the Lyceum, I happened upon a passage in a manuscript that described an island of fire. Upon further research, I found that the entity known as Exodus was not truly destroyed. The 
interface between its two parts and the world was merely severed. One part, his psyche we shall call it, was taken by the gargoyles who lived below us in a realm on the other side of the world. A truly fascinating culture they have, but I digress, you begin to wonder just how long this old man has been out of circulation. He continued, the other I have here, I call it the dark core because without the psyche, it is mostly lifeless. His face appears to you, do you feel as you're speaking to a child describing his new toy or perhaps pet? I believe twas the removal of the psyche from the core that caused this island to sink beneath the waves. So why is it back up? So, for those who have not seen me play Ultima 3, or have no idea what this guy is babbling about. Or if you haven't seen someone play Ultima 3 Eka, Exodus on the NAS. It had a very weird ending. No.
this is a modified version of the game. But notice the shape of this puzzle. Narrow passage. Isle of Fire. Castle. This is where we are, if we're right. Basically rest Almost there. wrong with this picture?
Yes, we're being attacked by the floor. This is why I won't play these games on stream. Cause they're full of flashing lights. And that it. So, if you paid attention to how I got here. This is the exact same place. Yes, master. How may serve thee the wearing visage in the mirror hesitates for a moment? Thou art not my master. He then continues with a small bow. Green eyes, Britannian. What dost thou wish of the great dame in Arcadian?
That is how, like, people address those of my race. You can't tell from Arcadian tone of voice whether or not he minds that fact. The big daemon smiles ingratiatingly, showing inch-long pointed teeth. As I have said, I am the daemon Arcadian. Arcadian attempts to smile, but failing miserably, he gives you a grimace that could turn a dragon to stone. I am currently in the service of one mage, Erythian by name. He states rather formally, You get the distinct impression that Arcadian would just as soon rip Erythian limb from live as serve him. He is my master, the daemon's smile contorts into a scarcely hidden scowl of hatred. Until other arrangements can be made. Arcadian toothsome smile appears on his shadowy features. The large daemon's eye closed as he appears to be restraining the force of horrific emotions. I have served that blind old fool for over 200 years. Arcadian pauses, regaining his composure. A thought visibly crosses his darkened face. Perhaps thou mightest assist me to free myself of this unwanted bondage. Have a good night, Mersikins. I could prove an invaluable ally. The daemon pauses to let his offer sink in then. Well, mortal, wilt thou help me?
A wicked look of triumph flickers across Arcadian's face to be quickly replaced by a ludicrous semblance of gratitude. Thou art truly courageous to vow to release me. My gratitude hath no bounds. An oily grin coats the daemon face. Thou hast made quite a powerful ally this day, mortal. His eyes blink in what is possibly meant to be a charming manner. I'll need a special gem in which to house my essence when thou crackest a sick prison of a mirror. His eyes are light with the possibility of his impending freedom. There was one on this island that much I know. Find it. Bring it to me, and together we shall break this mirror which binds me to that blasted mage. So you one. Did we do that right? I'll be right back. <laughs> 